Hello and welcome to the Cerberus Hub Playground. The Playground is an interactive IDE that runs directly inside of your browser to allow you to collaborate, iterate, and prototype your policies directly in an environment that doesn't require you to spin up or run anything on your local machine or set up a development environment or anything like that. This quick video is going to show you how it's set up, how it works, and uh, give some examples of how you can use Cerberus Hub's Playground uh, to evolve your authorization logic. So to start off with, uh, when you create a Cerberus Hub Playground, you essentially have three options. You can create from blank. Uh, so this is an empty one where you have free reign to do as you wish. Uh, we enable you to create a playground from an example. So we've actually built lots of different examples of different common setups of users that use Cerberus uh, policies. Uh, we're actually looking at a demo expenses management system policy inside of this, this video. Um, and we also allow you, if you've already created a workspace and connected to your existing policy Git repository, you can actually pull those policies directly in um, from uh, your repo into a playground and you can iterate in your policies there. So the setup hopefully looks quite familiar to you, um, taking the best of IDEs, etc. We have your files on the left, and the center is kind of your interactive pane where you'll be uh, working on your actual files. And on the right is some of the special source or Cerberus Hub playground, uh, which we will drill into and get that interactive feedback as you work on policies. So I'm just going to open some files. So here we're looking at a resource policy. Um, this is a resource type for like an expenses tracking system. We have some actions. Um, we have some roles, derived roles. So we've got a view policy, view who approved a policy, create, update, edit, delete, etc. cetera. Um, and what we have on the right-hand side here is the explore pane. So along with this policy, we've already written some test data or, or fixtures. So this is a standard part of the Cerberus open source project where you can define fixture files or reference uh, uh, principles and resources that you actually want to run tests against. So that's what this test data folder is. It's a standard convention with Cerberus. And our test data here defines different principles. So this principles, Sally, Ian, Frank, they've got IDs, they've got roles, they've got different attributes. Same applies to resources. So I have different resources, I have expenses, one, two, three, four, five. They've got different attributes, um, such as different owners, etc. And then that is what's being pulled into this right-hand side panel. So any test data you define, Cerberus Hub will pull that in um, into the playground. And then as you switch, you can actually look at different uh, principles and hopefully you see below the uh, action results are different as we're changing it. So Cerberus uh, Hub Playground is actually evaluating the, whatever policies that you've only got defined uh, against um, your policies and against the selected uh, principles and resources. And we're getting different results. So here we're actually um, seeing the different outcomes of different principles and resource combinations. So that's first off kind of a great start. You can start editing your policies. Um, so as you start changing things, these will reevaluate. Um, we're going to get different results, etc. And you may have noticed in this top right hand corner, this sort of one appeared against test results. So the other thing Cerberus uh, Hub Playground does is it actually runs all the tests that you've defined. So as well as defining your test fixtures, you can also define the actual test results. So this is, again, another just YAML definition file. So you define your test suites, you define your expected uh, behavior. So you, we're looking at different principles, different resources, and the expected ac uh, action uh, effect. So allow or deny for each of those actions, for each of the example fixtures. So rather than have to run that through your CLI, etc., every time you change a file, hopefully as you've seen, um, we are rerunning that in the background for you. And don't worry if you make a typo or such, let's say I read, um, edit this, we give you the feedback here telling you exactly which files are wrong, click on it, it will jump to that file. Uh, you get a nice um, uh, IntelliSense, uh, you get autocomplete as well. So there's a lot in here to help you make sure your policies are valid. And then in the cases where there are test failures, um, Cerberus Hub will tell you which hub, uh, which test has caused an issue, which principle, which resource, which accent, and you can even jump directly to the relevant test file to um, go and fix that test or change the log logic as you wish. Now, you may have noticed in the top right corner, uh, we can see this as another user inside of this playground, um, and this is the collaborative part. So a very common thing we see with uh, Cerberus Hub is teams will work on this together to kind of iterate and evolve their policies as they're trying to understand kind of how the logic needs to change. So this is actually a full-on uh, environment where uh, you get sort of similar to Google Docs type interactive uh, experience. And we, you can see here this highlighting, this typing, etc. This has happened by another user that's in the exact same playground as me. So it's great for those distributed teams, um, remote teams like we are here at Cerberus, uh, to work in, on policies together um, and 
and make sure the logic is implemented as, as you kind of expected. So once you're done with it and you're happy um, that your policy is working as expected, um, you can go and export it back out and Serverless Hub Playground will generate a zip file. You can download that uh, and now you can check that into your source, source repository um, that can be picked up by the rest of Serverless Hub for a fully managed CI CD pipeline once you create a workspace uh, and connected uh, everything up. So that's a brief cool tour of Serverless Hub Playground. Hopefully you'll find this useful and allow you to iterate and evolve and, and uh, extend your authorization logic in a way that gives you a very rich environment um, to, to improve your developer experience and efficiency and allowing you to move on and get on to the, the next task in your queue. We look forward to chatting more. Please join our Slack community. Uh, any questions, we're here to help.